Imagine a monument to history in a town where history is made with every news cycle. By 1890, the United States, though still a young country by most standards, was old enough to have a past worth preserving and communicating in the classroom and distilling for lessons in leadership grounded in the birth pangs of a nation. This memorial, in the shadow of Washington's Constitution Hall, recognizes the patriotic quartet of women who that year founded the National Society, Daughters of the American Revolution. Sculptor Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney, herself a DAR member, might well have been thinking of Cleo, goddess of history, in fashioning the classically draped figure of a woman, nine feet in height, her arms reaching out to what? The past or the future? Set amidst elegant landscaping, the overall effect recalls Whitney's other prominent work in the nation's capital, the Titanic Memorial near Washington Channel. Only here, instead of a flanking bench, there is a low stone wall with bronze medallions honoring Eugenia Washington, Mary Desha, Ellen Harden Walworth, and Mary Smith Lockwood. As charter members of the DAR, these four women invited others descended from Revolutionary Era combatants to celebrate their service and to promote greater public appreciation of the freedoms for which their ancestors fought. 